Good morning. We are nearing the end of the year. It's been a difficult year, but uh, I want to encourage you this morning and remind you of the fact that God is good. In Exodus 33, uh, Moses has a conversation with God. And Moses asks a specific question. He says in verse 18, Now show me your glory. Moses wanted to see the glory of God. And God responded by saying, in effect, I cannot show you my, my glory. It is too much for you to handle, but I will cause all of my goodness to pass in front of you. And I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. And I want to encourage you this morning that when, when Moses approached God to see something of God, God's answer is, yes, I will show you my goodness. I will pass all of, allow all of my goodness to pass in front of you. And in this year that's been difficult, we're filled with so much uncertainty, I want to remind you this morning that God is a good God. And why is this important? I'm reminded of a, a story that happened in our family many years ago. One of my daughters had an incident at school. She was in grade one, if I remember correctly. And uh, we asked her, but did you ask the teacher? And her response was, yes, I asked the teacher. Remember a grade one child. And later when I had a conversation with the, with the, with the teacher, the teacher said, but uh, she never asked me anything. And later when we again spoke to our grade one child, she said, no, I did not ask because I knew what the answer would be. And this is why it is so key that we know that God is a good God. Because if we fundamentally believe that He will not answer us and He will not come through for us and He is not a good God, then we might not even ask Him. And the Bible is so clear. In James it says, we do not have because we do not ask. And the reason why we do not ask, I believe, is because we do not truly believe that God is good. And I want to encourage you to make sure that you know and believe that God is good. And I'd love to pray with you. Father, we want to pray that you would cause all of your goodness to pass in front of us. May we see your goodness. Your word declares in Psalms that we should taste and see that the Lord is good. And Father, in a year that's been incredibly difficult, may the taste in our mouth change from difficult and uncertain to the taste of the goodness of God. And Father, we thank you for your goodness in our lives. Thank you that you have brought us through this very difficult season and you've brought us to this point. And we pray and we trust that we would continue to see your goodness. We call on your word in Romans 8 that says that all things work for the good for those who love you. And Father, this morning we declare that we love you. We are your children. And therefore we, we lay claim to that promise that all things will work for the good because we love you. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. May you see the goodness of God in your life.